So today we're going to be covering a relatively simple menu system that's uh, lightweight and easy to use, and that's going to be gaze-based selection. So even though there are better menu systems out there, such as Curved UI um, or the Uni Unity's Canvas system in general, uh, this is a very easy system that should only take you a couple minutes to put in, and uh, it's, a, it's a truly VR-based menu system since you are using gaze selection. So to get started, uh, I've set up the scene with a SteamVR camera rig. If you're using the Oculus Rift and you just have a main camera, that's fine too. And uh, I've also gone ahead and created two materials, red and blue, which we'll use to differentiate between our menu uh, items. So to start with, let's uh, create a 3D object cube, uh, sorry, quad, and let's position it somewhere uh, around a little bit farther away and a little bit, little bit up from the camera. Once we've done that, I'm going to press Control D to duplicate and create another quad that's just going to be down here. Um, so quads are super flexible, easy to use, lightweight. And uh, the first uh, step we're going to do is we're going to attach a red material to the top one and a blue one to the bottom one, just to help in differentiating which ones are which. And next, what you guys are going to do is, so I've already created it, but you want to create a new C-sharp script and you want to call it menu hover, or whatever you want to call it actually, arbitrary. So once we've done that, let's look at our fixed update cycle. So in this fixed update, we're going to cast out array, and if we collide with the tag called button, then what we're going to do is we're going to call move menu button on our hit object, assuming we have a selected object. So the idea there is we're going to move the Z position of the transform forward and backwards. So what that means is, if we go back to our scene, this, uh, this quad, as we look at it, right, it's going to hover forward. And, as we, and when we look away, it's going to go backwards. So the actual value itself, uh, you can play around with. Uh, I put in a public float here so you can change it at runtime just to see whatever works best. But once you have that all copied down, um, let's go back to the scene and let's finish up. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're actually, one thing I forgot, we have to actually add a tag to these quads. So you want to go to add tag, uh, make it button, right, to correspond with the button here. And once you've done that, uh, shift select here, that's what, and then uh, change it to button. So now that that's done, uh, the last step is going to be to attach this menu hover script to the camera head. So if you are using the Vive, uh, it is going to be this camera head right here. If you're using the Rift, you're going to attach it to the main camera. And if you're using cardboard, you can attach it to the cardboard camera. So that about covers everything that I wanted to in this video. But if you guys are interested in seeing some of the curved UI or uh, Vive selection laser uh, tutorials or anything on those, let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to respond. Thanks.